Hi guys, so today I'm gonna be doing my April um, BoxyCharm unboxing and try on. As you can see, I've already done my um, base because most of the stuff that's in the box um, focus, focuses around eyes, so I just went, went ahead and already did my base. I just have my um, hair clipped out of my face for now because it was driving me nuts, so. So yeah, let's just get right on into the box. So this one's theme is um, Peace, Love, and Boxy. It's like a Coachella type thing. Um, I got variation number 13, if you're curious. So yeah, that's just what the little card looks like. I think it's super cute. I love the cacti and the colors. I'm obsessed with like succulents and cacti, so I think this is super cute and I'm definitely gonna be saving the card like a weirdo like I am. So the first thing I'm gonna pull out is the Luxie Summer Days um, three piece uh, brush set. So you get three brushes in the um, set. You get a Luxie 512 small, small contouring. These brushes are super soft. I love getting Luxie brushes in um, BoxyCharm. Um, and that's just that's what the handle looks like. It's a really pretty pink that fades to like a yellowish type color. I think these brushes are super cute. And the this set, just dropped one, um, the brush set retails for $28. And you also get a Lexi um, 245 small shader, so just a small flat shader brush for like packing on the lid and then you get the Luxie 209 large shader so it's a shader brush but it's more fluffy it's not so like densely packed like this one so the next thing that I got in my box is the appeal holographic lip holographic lip gloss um, we got this brand Last month we got their liquid eyeshadow, or at least I did, and the lip gloss retails for $21, and I got mine in the shade Posh. And that's just what it looks like. I don't really, I don't think it's very holographic, it's just very um, sparkly. It's really pretty, so. The next thing that I got in my box is from Artist Couture, it's the Diamond Glow um, loose highlighting powder and I got mine in the shade Purple Dream, which I was really hoping I was gonna get this one because um, I love like purpley pinky highlighters, so I'm really happy that I got this one and the highlighter retails for $27. This is what the packaging looks like it's Just a little Container and you get 4.5 grams so that's just what it looks like it's got one of those sifters that you just turn to close so it doesn't um, it's not like super messy so I've never tried artist couture um, I've never tried any of these loose highlighters so I'm really um, excited to play with this so the next thing that I got in my box is from Luscious, I think that's the brand. It's their Angel Eyes Eyeshadow Primer Base um, in Nude. I didn't use this today because um, I forgot that I got it in my box and and I'm just used to priming, priming my eyelids with concealer and then setting it with powder anyways. So um, the eyeshadow primer retails for $14, which I think is a really good um, price. So yeah, that's what the eyeshadow primer looks like. I kind of was a little upset that I got this in my box at first, but then um, I started to think about it and I don't have any eyeshadow primers, so, and I've been wanting to try like a real eyeshadow primer lately instead of just concealer and powder, so I'm actually pretty happy to have this now. So I'll definitely be trying this um, in the future, so. And then the last thing in the box is this Pure Festival palette. Um, and the palette retails for $36, so yeah, that's what the 
palette looks like. I think it's super cute. I love the packaging. This is the back of the box. Um, obviously this is Coachella themed. You also do get a little sample size of the Pure Get a Grip um, eyeshadow primer. I obviously didn't use this either. But yeah, that's just what the outside packaging looks like. Ignore my nails. They're chipping like super bad and I haven't repainted them yet. So. so this is what the inside of the palette looks like. You do get a really nice mirror. Um, so yeah, you get some... I think this is a really pretty like neutral palette with some pops of color and these fun glitters so that's what the palette looks like so i think i want to first try on the artist couture um loose highlighter because i don't have highlighter on yet and i really really want to try this because i'm really excited for the color so I think I'm gonna try this first. And I think I'm gonna use the the brush that came in the brush set, even though this is like a small contour brush, but I've been seeing people use this to apply this highlighter, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I just have a little tiny bit on the brush because um, I've seen that these are pretty like blinding and pigmented, so I just have a little bit on the brush. It's really pretty. It's pretty sparkly. Like, it's kind of like fluffed into my hair. So maybe this brush isn't like the best for highlighting. But it is really pretty. It has a really nice, subtle, um, purpley pink like shift to it. So if you got this in your box and you were worried that it's not gonna be like super wearable. I think if you just apply a little bit like I did, um, it can be pretty wearable. Okay, so now I have the highlighter on. I applied a lot and you can see it's still pretty um, like subtle, like the uh, purpley pink color is pretty subtle. So like I said, if you were worried about this not being like um, wearable, just Try a little bit, and um, I think you'll like it. I I love this highlighter. Highlighter. I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot more. Okay, so for the palette, I'm not really sure what I want to do. I definitely want to use the the pink and the purple, but I'm not sure like what type of look I want to do because I also want to use um, at least one of the glitters. So. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to start off with the shade Epic in my crease, this light orangey like transition color. Oh wow, that's really pigmented. That's really pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way for the shade Epic. Now this does say it's a pressed pigment palette, so I don't know. I'm assuming the formula is a little different than normal eyeshadow, so maybe that's why it's like way more pigmented. So just go in with like a really light hand if you're scared of it being too pigmented. So, and this palette also smells like chocolate, kind of like the Too Faced chocolate bar and like um, tart uh, palettes. Okay, so now I think I want to go into the shade Wild Child, this really pretty hot pink. Um, I think I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. Wow, so look at that. It's really, I just barely tapped my brush into it and it's really pigmented, so definitely go into these with a light hand. Okay, so now I think I want to go into the shade um, Gypsy, this uh, purple. It does look like a 
shimmer, but it looks more kind of like a um, satin color. And I'm going to take the, the Luxie Large Shader that came in this set, and I'm just going to smudge that on my lower lash line. Okay, so now that I have the Gypsy Shade smudged on my lower lash line, um, I think I'm going to go into this top shade up here called Free Spirit. This like really pretty champagne color and I'm going to I'm going to highlight my brow bone. That's really pretty for highlighting the brow bone. Okay, so for the inner corner, I think I want to take the shade or the glitter 24 karat magic. Um, I'm just gonna put down a little bit of uh, glitter primer first and then I'm gonna put that on. Okay, so I just put the 24 karat magic uh, pressed glitter on my inner corner. Um, I don't really know how I feel about it. I think it kind of ruined the look. Um, I know this would be more of like a festival type look, but I don't know, maybe when like my lashes are on and stuff, it'll look better, but I don't know, I don't think I really like that glitter on the inner corner, so. Okay, so the eyes are pretty much done. That's what it looks like. I think it definitely does look, the glitter does look better with like lashes and stuff on. I think it would probably even look better if you did like a really big winged liner, but I just didn't feel like doing that today. And while I was um, off camera, I took down my hair and I also put on the Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu um, uh, matte lipstick in Rebel Rose, um, just as like a base for the lip gloss because I didn't want to put the lip gloss on just bare on my lips. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. I'm going to be putting on the Appeal Holographic Lip Gloss in the shade Posh. Posh? Posh. <laughs> That's really pretty. You probably won't be able to tell on camera all the different colored sparkles, but there's like green and pink and blue. I wouldn't say this is like holographic, but it definitely is like iridescent and it's got lots of different colors, sparkles. So that's what the lip gloss looks like over the lipstick. Like I said, I don't think you can even really tell like the glitters and stuff, but I can't feel them when I rub, when I rub my lips together, so it's really nice. It's just a really pretty sparkly gloss. Um, but yeah, it's got like pink and green, different colored shimmer in it. I don't know if you can maybe tell through the bottle. Maybe not. I don't know. I will say with the pressed glitters that are in the Pure palette, they are, um, I can notice they're kind of starting to fall all over the place. Um, I don't think you can really tell. Like I had some in up in my hair, um, which I don't even know how it got up there, but yeah, the glitter is a little messy, but I mean, it is glitter, so it's to be expected. I think it does look really cool. I definitely would wear this if I was going to a festival. Um, I'm not going to a festival, um, this year, so. So that was everything in my April, um, 2019 BoxyCharm. I definitely want to, I definitely want to play around with the eyeshadow palette more and create more looks because I feel like you could create a really like bronzy neutral um smoky eye or you could use the the glitters and create a really cool fun look like I did um so yeah if you guys want to see uh more looks using the palette just let me know and I will because I definitely want to play with like the other shimmers and play with the mattes because I only used um, the one 
matte so i love the brushes their luxi brushes are um they're great they're super soft um and i love the I love the handles on these ones they're just super cute so I always love getting um, brushes in BoxyCharm like I said you can't really tell all the like you can't really see all the glitters in the lip gloss but it is a really nice lip gloss it feels really nourishing um, on the lips so I'll definitely be using this more because I've been really into glosses for like the springtime like I said I love the artist couture purple dream um, highlighter because I love these type of highlighters. I love the pinky purpley highlighters. I'll obviously have to try out the eyeshadow primer a different time but I am excited to have it because like I said I don't have an eyeshadow primer at all. I just use um, concealer so I'm excited to see if an eyeshadow primer actually makes a difference in like eyeshadow like um, the way it looks if it lasts longer all that so I'll definitely keep you posted about this probably in the description or most likely on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, um, it's just at Savannah Marie Laurent. I'll put it up on the screen and I always list it in my um, description. So. so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my April BoxyCharm um, unboxing and try on. I think the look, I think it looks really fun. It's definitely very festival inspired, Coachella inspired. Um, kind of reminds me of like, if you take away like the glitter, it reminds me of like a sunset look almost. Um, but I think the glitter does look really cool. I was worried that it wasn't gonna look that good, but um, with like lashes on and the finished look, it looks. Um, pretty good so so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye